the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. <laughs> Same power. Same power. Same power. Hallelujah. 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 Aren't you glad that we're not ordinary people? We may talk like the men in the system. We may breathe in and out. But we don't have the same life, brothers and sisters. There is a divine life. Jesus transferred a divine life said in John chapter 10 verse 10 he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy but I am come not to give you a religion not to make you Christians I am come that ye may have life so we a quality of life that has not been known a life that is superior to this realm John chapter 3 verse 31 says he that cometh from above whoever possesses this divine life is practically literally above all hallelujah so tonight we're going to sing one more song crying that the lord will open the gates and the doors of revelation without his spirit we are only noise makers here hallelujah it's only by his spirit hallelujah never forget in your life in your ministry in your business in your endeavor that outside of the spirit of God you have no existence hallelujah open up the gates open up the door it's a very simple song Open up the gate. Hallelujah. Just hold on. I want to teach you the song for those of you who don't know. You hear the worshipers sing it once and then we'll follow. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song, prophetic song. It says, Open up the gates, the gates of revelation, gates of insight in the spirit. Open up the gates. Open up the door. Now just hear the worshippers sing it once and then we'll Open join in concert. Up the
confess that we are helpless without you we declare our inability to help ourselves Lord we are confident that by your spirit you will communicate deep things into our hearts Lord our hearts are open tonight bless our hearts in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah God bless you walk up to 10 people tell them it's good to see your face again there is fullness of joy and at his right hand pleasures forevermore hallelujah the Bible says and ye shall know the truth hallelujah and he said the truth that you know will make you it will make you free hallelujah and we thank God for his grace He's building us equipping us by the power of his spirit like my brother rightly said this is a training ground where God is building and equipping sons and daughters, those who will be the custodians of the next revival of the Spirit. If you believe that, say amen. amen. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Appreciate the worshipers. Great people. Acts chapter 4, verse 16. Oh, let's start from verse 15 and when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves 16 saying what shall we do to this man it's a question for that indeed a notable miracle had been done by them and is manifest to all those who dwell in Jerusalem the last phrase and we cannot deny it what shall we do to this man for that indeed a notable miracle a notable miracle had been done by them and is manifest to all those who are in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it look up tonight God is going to be challenging us very briefly hallelujah on the need to stand out as beacons of light and begin to manifest the kingdom the life the power the glory the audacity and the grace that flows from the kingdom that we represent hallelujah hallelujah now this was an interesting story because it was an event that followed the healing of the man at the beautiful gate hallelujah when he was healed by Peter and John it stirred up controversy in Jerusalem and when he got into the temple the scribes and the Pharisees suddenly saw the man he was sitting in an obvious position the Bible tells us that he had a spot at the beautiful gate and every time people passed to pray they would drop arms hallelujah and at a certain time during the hour of prayer the Bible says Peter and John went to pray and seeing this man he was begging for arms and Peter said look on us the Bible says he looked at them steadfastly expecting to receive something and he said silver and gold have I not but such as I have give on to you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth rise up and walk hallelujah 
And then the Bible says Peter reached out and grabbed him and he leaping stood. And he ran into the temple jumping and leaping and rejoicing. And there was so much controversy and on account of this they had to hold a meeting. Hallelujah. Because the apostles were now becoming obvious threats to their environment. Hallelujah. And the scribes and the Pharisees felt threatened by the presence of certain people. Although they were not educated as it were, they were not learned people. Hallelujah. And they had to call them over to the Jerusalem Council, the Council of Religious People. Isn't it amazing that when Jesus walked upon the earth, he never had problem with sinners and unbelievers? His problem was with religious people. Hallelujah. And when the saints, the first fruit of the finished work of Christ, walked upon the earth they didn't have a problem with demons and devils hallelujah their major problem was among religious people it's amazing how religion can resist the things that the holy spirit is doing they were men and women full of human understanding but had no comprehension of the precepts of the spirit for you to be a scribe and a pharisee you had to know the five books of moses the torah the Pentateuch, you had to know it off heart. And Moses in that prophesied and says, A prophet shall God send to you. Was prophetically speaking about Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And when Jesus walked upon the earth, although they had that in their head, they still persecuted him until they killed him. That's why Jesus speaking in John 6 verse 63 said, The flesh profited nothing. He said, It's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And Paul extending that statement said, the natural man understandeth not the things of the spirit. He said, for they are spiritually designed. You don't use your five senses to understand the things of the spirit because it gets to a plane where every revelation you are encountering will wrestle every sense of logic that you have so you must be able to ascend the heel of the lord whether or not your mind understands that's why we call it faith hallelujah that our life and our walk in this realm is absolutely hinged on the integrity of the one we are following and not necessarily on our degree of comprehension and what he's doing hallelujah and so he said a notable miracle i'm going to speak very briefly on what i titled notable manifestation of sons notable manifestation of sons we've spoken a lot about the manifestation of sons hallelujah romans chapter 8 from verse 18 says for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Then verse 19 says, For the earnest expectation of creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Hallelujah. And the next verse says, For the whole creation was subject to vanity, not willingly, but by him who subjected the same in hope, talking about Adam the first man, handing over the rightful keys of dominion to Satan. Hallelujah. And so the earth groans and travails waiting for the manifestation of sons. I need you to understand that all through Bible history the only way that men give glory to God is when the deeds of God is seen and expressed in the eyes of men. Are you listening to me? When no matter how supernatural a thing is if it ends in the secret God cannot be glorified are you listening to me because for God to be glorified men must be the ones to give him glory are you following me and therefore they must see and understand the goodness and the deeds of God and then as a response to what they see they will give him glory and give him praise and so when I talk about notable the word notable connotes being obvious being significant being outstanding worthy of notes 
the bible makes us to understand in acts chapter 4 verse 16 the apostles had been doing um great things while jesus was around the bible records that when he sent the 70 hallelujah that they went and came back and said even the demons are subject to us through thy name so it was not exactly their first time of experiencing the manifestation of the power of god however the bible says this was a different one and what made it different it wasn't because the miracle was new it was because it was notable say after me notable it was notable done before everyone undeniable irrefutable beyond argument hallelujah a notable miracle and when the scribes and the pharisees gathered themselves together because they said through which name did you cast this out and peter began to preach a sermon and they brought themselves together they said brothers and sisters oh, well no sisters they're brothers praise god for ladies how come there were no ladies when they were conspiring to do all these bad things ladies that should be a thumbs up so are we agreeing that men are the cause of come on remember eve <laughs> hallelujah remember jezebel remember the mystery babylon was not a man was a woman upon the horse can i continue okay remember the mother of jesus <laughs> hallelujah okay that aside let's continue the bible says that a notable miracle although they they didn't believe god they didn't love the things of god there was no human way they would prove that this was not so hallelujah notable manifestations of songs the bible makes us to understand that special miracles he called them special miracles they were not regular miracles special miracles were wrought through the hands of paul such that handkerchiefs and aprons were brought together the bible says just leaving his body devils demons were casted out special miracles the manifestation of songs will not create the kind of ripple effect that the kingdom desires until everything about our lives become notable the secret of expressing glory to god through our life is that everything about our lives will be reckoned to be notable the bible tells us that many men live long however there was a man that caught the attention in the bible hallelujah what was his name bible students sorry some people are saying mel mel what hallelujah who is the oldest man in the bible come on how old expo praise god now several people live long but how come we don't preach about the other people that live long something was notable about the longevity of methuselah the bible tells us that there were many wise men i mean the spirit of wisdom and creativity in exodus 31 rested upon bezalel but the bible tells us that there was something notable about the wisdom of solomon it was so notable that queen sheba had to come from the east to reckon with the fact that there was something notable about this man and the bible says when she came and saw the splendor of the palace and the manifestation of the artistry the creativity and the wisdom of the spirit the bible testifies that there was no more breath in her and she said half of this was not told me notable manifestations of songs hallelujah notable there were many men who were men of faith in the bible how come every time we talk about an icon of faith we suddenly move to the father abraham 
notable manifestations the bible says that a notable miracle happened and as a result because it was notable if it was just a miracle they would try to deny it but they said a notable miracle everybody saw this man crippled and then one moment they saw him standing they couldn't deny it they couldn't say it was stage managed for he had been there a long time the notable manifestation of the sons will begin to silence the systems of the world you know why God is allowing them to see all the evil and chaos because when the sons manifest it will be notable traceable impact that they can see and know that at a time t there was darkness and chaos why do you think the bible tells us that there was darkness and then god said let there be light that that statement would have been skipped away in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and god said let there be light it would still make sense why did god have to contrast the darkness the chaos and the light is god's desire that we not only manifest as sons of light but enter a realm called notable manifestation undeniable manifestation unarguable manifestation of sons hallelujah when jesus walked upon the earth the scribes and the pharisees had been teaching you must understand they were learned people humanly speaking they were absolutely intelligent but for the first time they had a man preach and his context and expression was notable and the people took note they said who is this from whence comes this man who is this notable grace and the bible says he taught as one with authority and not as the scribes there was something notable in his life when he began to move there was something about his love it was notable hallelujah and when he climbed upon the mountain the bible says about five thousand people aside women and children followed him why because his manifestation was notable I needed to understand that John had manifestations hallelujah but there was something notable say after me notable obvious something conspicuous something um, undeniable and the unbelievers testified they said we cannot deny it we cannot deny it this is too notable there's no way we are going to try to cook up a story to stop god from receiving glory is notable god intends that your life becomes a notable sign and a notable wonder such that no matter what angle people come they'll say this life is too notable we cannot but deny the hand of god we cannot but deny the favor of god there were many people who worked in the ministry of helps and hospitality but the bible tells us there was a woman called Dorcas. notable hallelujah to the point that when Dorcas died all the women were making reference they said no she had done see it wasn't just ordinary the way other people were doing she was a giver notable until we begin to move in notable realms of manifestations the world will find intelligent human ways the bible makes us understand that when jesus died they put certain people the military people to protect him hallelujah and if they suddenly came and saw the grave empty they would argue it and so god needed to do something notable the bible says on that resurrection morning i mean jesus had the ability to walk through and they would not see him at least peter did it 
Peter walked out of the prison Jesus would have kindly gone out of the grave but if, he, if Jesus just went out of the grave people will still argue it are you listening to me it had to be notable the moment a thing is notable it cannot be denied notable hallelujah notable I cannot look at this guy and say is a lady no matter what scientific evidences I bring this guy is a man because it is what notable there are notable features that attest to the fact that this is a man I cannot see this and call it a, assuming this is not a Bible and call it a living thing this is a book hallelujah this cannot be a human being no matter what biological experiment I do I cannot prove that this is a human being now listen we live in a world where almost everything can be proven with science hallelujah people are trying to prove whether walking on the Red Sea was genuine and their scientists and physicists are trying to conjure certain things the world is trying to disprove the fact that Jesus is Lord hallelujah and right now there's the argument over transformation in lives and whether or not people are really healed when someone says he's healed they say just forget don't tell us that lie the end of all argument is a notable manifestation a notable manifestation hallelujah if the people had never seen the man at the gate beautiful they would conjure theories hallelujah and said the apostles went and cooked this up but everyone saw him they knew him they knew his parents are you following me his parents were known and then when this man got up it was a notable manifestation although they tried to argue they couldn't do much why because it was undeniable when you move in the realm of notable manifestations even satan will stop arguing about the fact that jesus is lord over your life satan gave a testimony about job hallelujah one of the few if not the only places in scripture where satan gave a testimony about a man satan gave a testimony that he could not break through the hedge of protection that was around you notable testimony then the bible says you are a city said you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be what a notable city you cannot be hidden he said let your light so shine i want it to be noticed i want it to be notable because when men see it and you let them know that i'm the author then i will be glorified that's why there are few cases in the bible where jesus healed the sick and did supernatural things in the hidden there are few times did you know ironically right now we have more miracles in the church than outside the church but do you know when you study scripture there were more miracles outside than in the church hallelujah notable manifestations of songs the bible makes us understand that creation is waiting for the sons to begin to do undeniable things there are certain people that when you talk about them in the world system people can argue and say forget is this guy a real man of god just forget what they are doing however there are certain people that have stepped into a realm called notable manifestations that unbelievers believers alike no one understand that there is the hand of god upon their lives we celebrate many evangelists in the world however there is a man called evangelist billy graham notable Kabo satabaya there was something about his life hallelujah and as a result 
whether the president of america is a freemason or not he would come to pay homage to this man called billy graham there are many evangelists that have blessed the nations and especially nigeria but we have one called evangelist reinhard bonke his name is almost like coca-cola when you call the name people say ah, i know reinhard bonke no table manifestations there's no denomination it doesn't matter what they believe or what they don't believe that will resist the presence of reinhard bonke no table manifestations hallelujah are you getting blessed it's not enough to begin to manifest the life the kingdom the power but we must step into a realm of undeniable manifestations that when you're exhibiting the character of the spirit it must be notable notable if you are a giver that you step into the realm of notable giving notable giving that your name will be synonymous every time i call your name what is notable about your life hallelujah bin laden did a notable manifestation although he was evil but it was a notable manifestation you will never read the history of terrorism without mentioning his name he earned himself that title notable manifestation hallelujah a woman in church history called mother teresa how many of you have read about her was she the only woman who loved people don't you love people but there was something notable are you listening to me notable notable about her life there were many apostles isn't it interesting how the bible did not give detailed account of all of them i wonder why because on the day of pentecost the bible never said peter received the holy ghost two days before the rest how come some people did not make it the archives of their lives i mean the bible dedicated two-thirds of his writing in the new testament to just one man i think that's not fair enough room would have been given one one chapter for everybody to encourage diversity how be it there was a notable manifestation of an apostle hallelujah and tonight i've come to tell us that the world will stop denying the hand of god upon our lives when we step into no 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 when we before you say amen let me finish it when this is the condition when we step into that dimension of the notable manifestation of souls hallelujah there is no man by the grace of god almighty who will pass around here and deny the fact that kings and priests there is a gathering of eagles to the glory of god there's no man who will deny that jesus is lord in this place it's to the glory of god i say it with all humility that every time you step there is something notable we must get to that dimension where there is something notable in our lives are you listening to me notable that your love life will become notable that every time they want to give an example of one who passionately loves the kingdom hallelujah they will say aaron do you know aaron is an example notable if it is not notable then you will never be able to make impact and bring glory to the father hear me herein is our father glorified when we bear much fruit hallelujah sharing is our father glorified that 
that when you become a notable mother such that it's not just your children who will attest to the fact that there's something about your life did you know that there are some families that the children prefer their neighbor's mother to be their mother or their neighbor's father because there's something notable there are some families that whenever you are free you want to go and relax there notable the life and the hand of God is notable there are certain people you want to be with the moment you have any spare time no matter how it inconveniences you you want to be around them there is something notable about their lives the question the Lord is asking tonight is what is notable about your life what is notable for the kingdom many of us have a little of power here a little of passion for God here a little of zeal a little of grace a little of um, the giving life a little a little but this Bible I need you to know that there were many people who were featured in this Bible but some were featured once and for all others were featured repeatedly in the Old Testament and they were featured in the part 2 of the Bible they couldn't be denied Abraham Elijah sorry and Enoch Elijah and who? Moses I'm sorry they had finished their course in the Old Testament what brought them to the transfiguration again? no table manifestations such that God used Moses to typify the law and he used Elijah to typify the prophets when God was showing me dimensions of his call upon my life one time I had a vision and God used two notable men of God to reveal to me the patterns that I would walk in and for years it bothered me I said Lord why did you use these people how many of you have had dreams where God used someone's face to teach you something? When God is talking about love, then you see, why was it not your face? Hallelujah. No table manifestations of songs. The Lord wants us to step into that dimension where we begin to move in notable dimensions of the miraculous notable dimensions I cried and I prayed I told God yesterday you know, while I was just praying in the night expressing my heart to the Lord and I told him I said Lord take me to that dimension of notable a notable life where everything about my life becomes an object of conversation to the glory of the Lord hallelujah that people look and say why why does he talk this way why is it that um, every time he speaks there seems to be something notable there are many people that sing on stage I, I always say it can sing on stage and raise a song and as you are going back your song dies with you there the people who are clapping cannot even remember what you sang hallelujah and then someone else will come on stage and sing the exact same song and that song will linger in your spirit for days and weeks every time the holy spirit wants you to worship that's the song even if you don't know everything about the song it could be a phrase it will remain in your spirit and every time you sing you see the face of the one who sang notable There are certain meetings that when you enter you get blessed and you go out but there are certain meetings when you enter you see that the presence of God in that atmosphere is notable notable hallelujah that when you sit there is the consciousness that the glory of God is in this place there is the consciousness that God in the midst of his people is mighty how many of you have taken an unbeliever for a program and this is
seeing someone that is a noise maker and will not be patient and say i'll sit down for five minutes and he sits down and after 10 minutes you see a sense of reverence and a contemplation within his an intrapersonal contemplation something notable is happening to him hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that on the day of pentecost something notable happened that was not the first time they were celebrating pentecost are you following me now 50 days after the ascension of jesus something notable happened and it attracted everyone to come and the bible says that they saw men filled with the holy ghost and were speaking and when peter spoke there was something notable about his speech and as a result three thousand people three thousand people came to the lord hear me it's time for everything about our lives to become notable are you listening to me it's time for what everything about our lives to become notable that every time you stand and you minister the word there is something notable an identity that validates that Christ is at work in your life Come, Steve, please play this guitar. Notable. There are many people that play the guitar. There are many people that play all of these instruments. What is it about the man we call Steve Strings? It's not because he sings unusual songs necessarily. Go ahead and play, Steve no table there is something i know a lot of people professional people that play guitar but there is something notable hallelujah and every time you hear him whether you like what he's playing or not you cannot deny that this comes from a realm that is not of the earth there are certain people that when they speak their wisdom is notable. The Bible calls certain people wise men from the east. There were many men from the east, but their wisdom was notable. Hallelujah. There's got to be something notable about your life for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to rise above that average and that ordinary life we are going to rise above that limitation of nominal christianity it's time for your christianity to be notable not just notable in church it's time for people to begin to argue and discuss about your passion for god it's time for people to begin to discuss the grace of God upon your life the workings of the spirit that every time they are talking about intimacy with the Holy Spirit they tell them can you see how I covet Shea's dimension of intimacy there's something notable about her intimacy I've had the opportunity of counseling and talking with a number of people about the ministry of the holy spirit in their lives and there are about three or four of them that have attained a realm i call notable intimacy hallelujah that at the end of speaking with them i had to go back to god and cry and say god what 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 did these people do that brought you into that depth of intimacy hallelujah a notable life that every time people see you your life becomes a motivation because there is something notable every time they are talking about an example of a true servant of God can your name be called for notable kingdom stewardship every time they are talking about men and women who 
demonstrate um, what it means to be prosperous and yet godly can your name come in the midst of that notable discussion Acts chapter 4 verse 16 it says a notable miracle has been performed and we cannot deny it I look forward to the time when in and through my life we will keep our generation stand still and say do you have any other argument as to why you think Jesus will not be Lord on this earth where we will dismiss all the facts and figures and all the things that people use to deny the fact that Jesus is Lord I look forward to a time when a sorcerer and a diviner is doing whatever he has to do and then you step into that place unknowingly and the jazz stops walking notable carbo satire without speaking in tongues and making noise let me tell you the world is tired of our noise what they need is the notable manifestation of sons and so we can preach and sweat on stage and they cross their legs but the moment they see something notable they will arise and say what is this notable for as long as you love like unbelievers love Christ cannot be glorified because it doesn't make any difference when your love becomes notable then it will compel men to know that there is an ability at work in you that is not human for as long as your wisdom is regular and natural I look forward to a time when the government will run to the church and say we we are confused we don't know where to go politically economically and the church will say oh yes we know let it be as it were in the days of Daniel that when there was confusion and chaos in Babylon because the king forgot his dream and the king forgot he didn't even know the interpretation all the sorcerers and diviners failed and the Bible says that there was need for a man who had the spirit of God in a notable fashion and Daniel stepped out the king said I will kill all of you and Daniel said there's, there's no cause for alarm just give me one night I will bring a notable result and he got up in the morning and says oh king let me tell you your dream and he began to astonish him and he said I testify that the spirit of the gods I testify the spirit of the gods is upon him the Bible says when they were tested he was found ten times better ten times better was a testimony that the hand of God was upon his life the Bible talks about a man called Job he said Job was the greatest man in the east they were prosperous people the east was known for prosperity and wisdom how be it it was notable we must begin to make notable impact notable impact in our community when the church builds a borehole in a community and builds a school let me tell you something the government will have no option but to involve the church in the decision making of that environment the reason why we pray in tongues and shout and the world is not moved by our tongues and our revelation is because it is not yet notable hallelujah that every time you go to greet your auntie or your uncle they receive you with such warm reception because they have marked it that every time you greet them a door is open 
so there's something notable about your life the moment you say i am coming they get very excited do you know that there are some people you long for them to visit you there are some people you long for them to come and say hello because there is something notable about their lives we are going to be raising a cry i cried out my life yesterday i said lord a notable life my generation must know that a son an ambassador of the kingdom has stepped his feet upon this environment for the glory of the king for the glory of the king notable that your excellence becomes notable that your wisdom becomes notable that your life becomes notable that the grace of god upon your life becomes undeniable such that although you are not the firstborn in the family they will never make a decision without inquiring of you somehow they know that your impute is relevant not just because you are prosperous but because the hand the spirit of the lord is upon you hallelujah that in your department and in your faculty they will note you for certain things when it comes to the affairs of wisdom they know that the wisdom of god resides upon a citizen when the king of syria sent naaman with a letter and the king of israel was was disturbed elisha now elisha said oh king why are you worried he said send the man to me and let him know that there is a prophet in israel send him let him know that god has ambassadors who are still alive and are still doing well i look forward to the time when things are not going on in your room and your house and you step in and say lord prove that an ambassador lives in this room prove that an ambassador lives in this place where your life and every activity around your life becomes notable when they make you a faculty president or a departmental president or a pastor or a minister that there will be something about your dispensation that will enter the archives of history that when so 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 and so 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 person was here there was something notable how many of us desire that kind of life if you truly want to bring glory to the king then you must desire the notable manifestations of sons notable let me give you a testimony to the glory of god some years ago they brought a lady from congo who had some demonic things around her life very very terrible hallelujah and when that lady came she was supposed to come and see me i used to sit down near the sunday school building and i just sat there i was just meditating and as soon as this lady stepped close she wouldn't move further again and the people said let's go they said i'm not going and then at a point they forced her and the moment she stepped in just where i was seated she just started shouting she said god is in this place god is in this place god is in this place and that's how she fell under the power of god and i tell you the truth instantly i sat down i was sitting there and i said satan go notable manifestation of sons there are many of us that need to look at our parents and say i speak to you enough is enough notable and suddenly things begin to change around their life and they look at you and say what is it about your life and then you let them know that he is lord and i live to bring him glory until your life is notable the king cannot be glorified through your life are you listening to me there's got to be something notable whenever people are in trouble that they can run to you because you have been noted for certain things whenever people need solutions 
they can run to you because you have been notable and the bible says it shall come to pass that the mountain of the lord will be exalted to a notable point and he said all nations shall flow to it because it will become a house of prayer it will become a house of solutions it will become a house of breakthrough a house of increase and that's what god is doing by his spirit in koinonia making this house a notable place notable for signs and wonders notable for impact and transformation notable for the manifestation of the law of the character of the spirit notable for the grace and the hand of god notable for raising giants and champions and great men notable for communicating the mind and the counsel of the spirit for every season and i call you tonight to join in this quest of having a notable life enough of the ordinary life enough of the life that people can argue and argue about and say we are not even sure whether he loves god or not let me tell you when people are arguing whether or not you are a christian your life is not yet notable hallelujah when people look and say femi sorry we are arguing are you really filled with the holy ghost just settle this for us don't answer that question go back and lock yourself and say lord my life must be notable there are many people who try to replace this notable grace by wearing suits and speaking good english none of this will cover for the notable hand of god for your life i mustn't wear nice suit and speak with color and say okay i'm here bless you in the name of the lord jesus um i can bless your life invite me to preach well in your church the hand of god upon your life ought to be undeniable are you listening to me the bible says when jesus was born there was a notable star there were many stars but there was one notable star and the bible says on account of that star people began to flood into that place because a star was lifted and it was directly above that house that the lord will make your life like a star that people will flood and come and say what is it about the grace of god upon your life what is it about the hand of god what wisdom is this what knowledge is this hear me if you don't convert this thing that i'm preaching you will live an ordinary life and you will end up being frustrated the secret of impact that will bring glory to god especially in this generation of westernization and controversy there are so many options we need a notable manifestation of sons a notable manifestation of sons that when we are talking about givers the world will not dare say that they are on the top of the list in showing welfare and hospitality that the church will arise whenever there is disaster before the government finish their meeting who have sons of the kingdom who are empowered to step in and help the nations the notable hand of god upon our lives we look forward to times when when doctors conclude about people the church is already working in that dimension right now there are several sicknesses that even the hospital cannot diagnose and they tell them look i don't know what to tell you try god that's the only thing i know just try it's my desire that every one of us step into this notable lifestyle a notable lifestyle noted by believers and by unbelievers that the community in zaria the community in abu the community in kaduna state the community in nigeria will know that he reigns through your life you know every time we sing that song lord you reign forever 
when we get to the place that says you reign you reign you reign you reign one night i was singing that song and when i finished singing suddenly my spirit i had a voice saying you reign so i twisted the song a little then when i sing you reign after a while i switch it i say i reign i reign i reign because you reign i reign i reign i reign because you reign the scripture that john far shared he said the lord stands in the congregation of the mighty and begins they are not the congregation of the small god calls you mighty it's a meeting of mighty men and god is saying mighty men how come you have not delivered the poor and oppressed why are things going on as though you are not alive as bishop benson idahosa a man who lived a notable lifestyle during the popular Benin Witch Festival. You will never talk about the history of revival in Nigeria without talking about the Benin Witch Festival and the impact of Archbishop Benson Idahosa. All the witches were going to come from the world and gather in Benin for a conference. And Idahosa said, not when I'm alive not when i'm in benin it will not hold no table audacity and the media challenged him he said it will not hold and a few days or about a day to the meeting they had to call a press conference of the chief of the witches this is recorded on video the chief of the witches and archbishop benson idahosa and they sat down and the media people interviewed them they said all kinds of things and when the presenter was about rounding up it also said wait don't round up i have something to say and he turned and looked at the man and said before the whole country answer now are you a witch be careful as you give this answer because you may fall down and die now are you a witch answer the country and the man kept quiet for a while this was a king of the witches here in nigeria from india asia all over and idahosa said i'm listening guess what the man said no idahosa said you can close the program an ambassador alive and active what a notable life he was told that at a point he was traveling and arm rob robbers blocked them hey, hey, hey come out lie down and he told he was surprised the driver was afraid he told he, he said park he told the driver park and he came out and dressed his clothes and the arm robbers were lie down and he looked at them he said three things must happen to you now you are going to choose either to be paralyzed to die or to be blind but what must happen to you right now now listen i'm not just saying this the bible says follow them who through faith and patience what kind of life is that hallelujah it was said of bishop oedeko that armed robbers came and kidnapped his daughter and they were running out and he said if i'm a servant of god they will not cross my gate as soon as they got to the gate something happened they started arguing with one another and they brought back the child do you believe this let me share with you a testimony to the glory of god i've shared the testimony we're lying down peacefully in our house when a thief came and entered and when he entered he went to uh, the table where we keep our laptops and he carried my laptop when he carried it before you know my brothers got up you know tried to pursue the guy the guy ran opened the door and ran away and 
it was in the middle of that chaos I woke up and I said what's happening and he said the thief had gone away with my laptop and I looked and there was no laptop and I got up I said well Lord two things will happen the laptop will come back or you give me money to buy a new one in any case you are Lord hallelujah and then suddenly I saw a vision of an angel and he just did this with his hands and I didn't say anything hear me friends God is my witness they are here to testify seven hours later that laptop was back on the table we didn't raise any alarm the people in this in the in our neighborhood took it upon themselves and they pursued that armed robber and went to his house he hid it under the carpet in their house they brought it out this was the case i was counseling people in school when they called me and said please come they had to go and bring his brother in um where, um, the military cantonment what do we call it basawa and he came wanting to come and just plead with me and the guy packed his things and ran out of zaria a time will come when somebody wants to harm you he will reconsider and say is he worth it is the is he worth it the word of god says touch not my anointed do my prophets no harm when you begin to say ah witches are disturbing me devils are this and that will you press into god to a notable dimension where the demons and devils will reconsider and say is he worth it or are we trying to frustrate ourselves for nothing that you become so excellent and blameless than your that your lecturer will have no basis of implicating you the bible says they look for an occasion to implicate daniel and they didn't find anyone rise up on your feet it's a communion service so we we'll have to pray so that we'll quickly take the communion go ahead and bless the lord notable manifestations of sons Go ahead and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Go ahead and bless his name. And say, Lord, notable manifestations, notable from today by the hand of God, the grace of God upon my life is notable 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 the wisdom of god upon my life is becoming notable go ahead and pray my world life is notable my understanding my insight to the word is notable your prosperity upon my life is notable. The goodness of God upon my life becoming notable. Over the works of my hands, notable. Go ahead and pray. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your life. Pray for your fellowship. Pray for your business. For your group. Notable.
notable the manifestation of the gift of the spirit in and through your life notable the wisdom of God notable your leadership ability notable your impact your influence your intelligence notable not able by your lecturers, not able by your colleagues, not able by your co-workers, not able by your brothers and sisters, that believers and all believers alike will attest to your father that you are not able, undeniable, not able. Hallelujah. When our lives become notable, then the world will reckon with the fact that God is at work in our lives. When our lives, when our passion for God, when our zeal for his house, when our giving, when our the manifestations of his grace, his power, his wisdom, when it becomes obvious, undeniable, then there will be no argument again. It's foolish to argue with notable results. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Now tonight is a communion service. And we're going to be taking the communion. Now, I want you to take the communion with understanding and revelation. And I'll be reading two scriptures very quickly. John. John chapter 6. Brothers and sisters, I'd like you to cherish what God is doing in our midst. He's truly making us kings and priests unto our God. Hallelujah. Verse 35, John 6, 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. And he that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hallelujah. Verse 53. Just jump quickly to verse 53. And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have what? No life in you. It's not talking about the biological life. The manifestation of the divine life that will make you notable notable he who eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day for my flesh is food indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth with me and I in him hallelujah jesus is saying for every time you partake of the communion you react you reenact the revelation of your oneness are you listening to me every time you take the communion you realize that you is in the realm of the spirit there is a renewal of the fact that you are one with christ and that you are a possessor of the god life a life that is beyond sickness a life that is beyond failure a life that is beyond weakness are you listening to me the divine life above and beyond the limitations of the flesh very quickly let me show you something in second corinthians i understand for many of you who have observed you will notice that there has been an escalation of the death of fathers how many of you have taken note of that people's fathers just dying and the rate at which people are falling ill and falling sick
but the bible says there is a bomb in gilead i want to show you a spiritual mystery tonight turn with me sorry first corinthians first corinthians 11 how that the communion is a spiritual principle that is an antidote to sickness an antidote to weakness and an antidote to the plague of death hallelujah verse 23 for i have received the, of the lord that which i also i delivered unto you that the lord jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is did he say this is bread he said this is my body which is broken for you broken for your sickness broken for your weakness broken for your limitation are you following me now he said do this in remembrance of me after the same manner also the cup and when he had supped, saying this is the cup of the new testament in my blood these do as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me hallelujah follow me to verse 28 but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh judgment to himself not discerning the lord's body verse 30 for this cause stop for not taking the communion with the understanding and the revelation of what it is empowered to do there are three things that happen for this cause many are number one weak many are number two sick and many sleep so when the communion is taken with understanding and revelation it gives you supernatural strength as ordinary as this looks humanly this is just bread and cake or, or drink or whatever but that there is a revelation in the spirit that this is what the bible calls the bomb in Gilead that when there is a plague of, a plague of weakness a plague of sickness the midst of the lord's body that his body was broken in exchange for your strength in exchange for your weakness in exchange so taking that reenacts in the realm of the spirit the blessing of strength the blessing of health the blessing of longevity are you following me now and so we are taking this communion tonight with the understanding that there will be a supernatural impartation of strength spiritual strength mental strength and physical strength and we are taking this that by the revelation of Jesus Christ his body broken for us that no sickness listen to me no devil no demon will survive your body as you take of this communion and lastly that with this communion we end the plague of death over our lives and our families listen you need to believe this there is many people suffer because we do not understand the principles that god has put to address certain issues there's no point arguing over what god has said the mystery of the communion hallelujah the worshipers will lead us will quickly do this as we share please if you don't get just be patient i hope the cops go around i invite the ministers please as many just come we have one two three four five six seven eight nine seven twelve need at least twelve people please hallelujah at least twelve people praise god father in the name of jesus i pray over this communion this is ordinary drink and bread but we declare that the impartation of the holy ghost comes upon it in the name of jesus 
that as we take this communion tonight it becomes a supernatural antidote against weakness we banish weakness even that by the mystery of the holy communion in the name of the lord jesus we banish sickness from our camp we banish sickness from the body in the name of the lord jesus and father every covenant of death upon everyone's life and over our families as we take the communion an end comes to it let the plague stop in the name of the lord jesus Amen. therefore we bless this communion and we call it anointed in the name of jesus servants of god you can just pick it and walk around we may have some station some people should service those outside please do that quickly don't take it yet just take the cup and the bread hallelujah please let's have more people yeah, Pastor, you can have this. Let's have some people go outside. Please do it. Make it snappy. Just make sure you have the, the bread and the cup. And begin to pray prayerfully. Yes, Pastor Show. What is happening in this place? Please let's make it snappy. Make a baraka tabara rabosha. Man to soto kaga tabara rabosha. Reke tala rabosha. Man to soto reke tala rabosha. Reke tala rabosha. Reke tala rabosha. Reke tala rabosha. Just pick the cup and the bread. That's what we let's do it very quickly very quickly let the ministers help out just ensure you have the bread and the cup inside outside hallelujah in one minute i'd like you to pray and express your heart what you're trusting that the lord caused this to do in your life this is not just a religious ritual in one minute I like this communion to make sense to you. Please, the welfare, let's have more. Looks like there are still people more. As many who have, even if you don't have, you can get the bread. Let's let's save time.
if you've not gotten the cup, please just lift hands. All right, please locate them and let everyone have it. There's more of the cup here. We're taking the bread, just pick a piece and pass it around very quickly. Let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us have not gotten the cup or the bread? Hallelujah. Please, can we make this snappy? Let's do it really fast. Just keep your hands lifted. Please locate them and, and the ministers turn so that you can. The Bible says that Jesus said if you eat. Please, um, Shade, there are people here. Is it the cup or the, the bread? Okay. Please, the bread. Just pick a piece and pass it around very quickly. Pass it round very quickly. Father, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that this is a sacred spiritual exercise. We are taking this to end the plague of death, to end the plague of weakness, to end the plague of sickness. You said we should do this in remembrance of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now together we are going to take the bread and the cup. Even, even if we've taken it and you've not gotten it, um, you can take that later on. Who has the bread? I see that they are not. Okay, please. Careful, sorry. I think you can get just get another one that Jimmy has one there please I need everybody to have it let's do it quickly tumors will die growth will go demonic oppressions will leave plague of death will end who has the bread I'm not sure the ministers have the bread please are you done okay do so quickly please do we all have this? Do we all have this? Please let me have the remaining. So you can pick one for yourselves. That's all right. Just okay, here's the bread. Do we have any? Who doesn't have? Okay. Everybody. You've taken your own. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now look up please. This is ordinary bread. Hallelujah. And this is ordinary wine or juice or zobo or whatever it is. How be it? I need you in one moment to cease looking at this as just bread and a cup. There is a spiritual mystery. Are you listening to me? Jesus said, if you eat this, it's my flesh. And if you take this, it's my blood. That for every time you do this, you enact a mystery. An inexplainable mystery in the realm of the spirit. That dispels weakness, dispels sickness, and dispels death. 
and after tonight's communion we will say oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your strength enough of dying around it's happening all over the country enough of sickness and weakness lord we believe father anoint this even as we take it we bless it in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit together now let's take it go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit please pass the cups round go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit Say the mystery of the body and the cup. Leba kaparada baseketeba. Go ahead and challenge weakness, challenge sickness, challenge death. In the name of Jesus, we are obedient to the ordinances of God. Challenge every unfaithfulness over your life over your family members no more death no more loss no more weakness every pain challenge it in the name of Jesus for when our obedience is complete God is committed to perform when your obedience is complete Cancers die in the name of Jesus. Tumors die in the name of Jesus. Fibroids be gone. Demonic oppression be gone. Every mental problem by the power of the communion. Oh, then, where is thy sting? We banish the hand of death. Banish the plague of death. We receive strength, strength, energy, vitality, longevity. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. For thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff. Thou preparest a table for us in the presence of our enemies you anoint our heads with oil and our cup of us hope. surely goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life health wealth longevity longevity hallelujah I shall not die, but leave to declare. Go ahead and declare. I refuse it. So kataba. Don't take it for granted. Don't take what you are doing for granted. We are operating under instruction. Don't take it for granted. We refuse to mourn any death. Let the plague of death taken far from the camp for there are ambassadors the plague of death the plague of accidents the plague of robbery, the plague of war we decree it we are preserved and 
silence is complete. Then God watches over his work to perform it. Many people don't believe God. We believe our problems. We are used to it. That every time God speaks, we just hope. Faith is not hope. Listen carefully. Faith, Bible faith is not hope. It's not hoping God will do it. Faith is based on a revelation. God will convince you and tell you, I am able to do it. And then activate your spirit through the revelation of his word for you to know that this thing is true. That God can turn a man's life around. I spoke, I was in Port Harcourt the day before yesterday, yesterday we came back today and I spoke on something I wish I had the time to teach you. It was on Ebenezer, the mystery of help from God. Hallelujah. He said, my help comes from above. I don't know where your own comes from, but my help, my help, not our help. I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live. And in every hill and every palace, there is a system of protection. But uh, uh, this, this situation defies the help that comes from the hill. He says, my help cometh from above. Cometh from above. Cometh from above. Sometimes when God wants to step in and help you, he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you. Because mockery gives God glory. He allows men to vent their foolishness. And he says, are you done? He says, now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in. As a man, if I like you, there are privileges you can have. When God gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case, even you, you will be shot. Are we together now? That God can turn again the captivity of men. I told you we are reading three scriptures. Scripture number two. Habakkuk chapter one, verse five. Habakkuk chapter one. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Oh, God wants to visit somebody. Habakkuk chapter one. Behold, ye among the heathen. Notice that the heathen must participate in that process for God to be glorified he wants them to see he says and regard and wonder marvelously for I will walk a walk in your days which ye will not believe though it be told you there is something I would do that even you the recipient the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it but ordinarily I will walk a walk in your day. There is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say, my God. God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith, I've had to sit down to say, God, I fear you. God did something in the Red Sea that made Pharaoh look and say, this God, he is God. God did something in Babylon that made Nebuchadnezzar. He wrote a decree. Not to the people, to God. Turn again, captivity. I will do a walk tonight. I will change things. Your prayer point of years. I will so answer it in a way that you will say, Lord, even if you answered it longer, I would still be grateful. But what, what is this? And God says, I did it suddenly lest you think I am so weak that it will have to take a long time. <laughs> Last scripture. Isaiah 41. Ten solid verses we are going to read. Ten to twenty. Isaiah 41. God is turning things around. Turning things around.
turning things around. When your clock refused to move, you fix it because it was supposed to move. And if your life has been brought and tied to time, then like the clock, the clock is a revelation of how your life must move. When clock stops moving, you fix it or throw it away. If your life stays in one place, it's a mockery to God, is a mockery to you, is a mockery to all who are connected to you, that your life, like the clock, must turn. 41 from verse 10 to 20. Fear thou not. This is a word for somebody. For I am with thee. Yes, in the midst of the pain, the disappointment, I am with you. The threat letter, I am still with you. A man gave a testimony, I think it was just something to encourage people. I'm not sure it's a real story. But he held the hands of Jesus from that story, I'm told. And they were walking together in a desert place. And then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so i carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why god starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for i am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help i will help thee i will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11. behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what? That's where I got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly. It says, all day that... Okay, let's, let's just read 12. No, no, go, go, just, just go back to... Two. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13 for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because i will help thee don't trivialize the help of god don't when god tells you i want to help you rejoice when god says i want to help you is the same thing um this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and I say, I want to help you, meaning I am stronger than him, meaning I know something he doesn't know. I want to help you. He says, Fear not, O warm Jacob. Jacob, you are weak, I know. Why does he call Jacob a warm? It's not an insult, it's a description of your frailty. Fear not, O warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Sayeth the Lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel reading to 20 15. behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as chaff thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the lord and shall glory in the holy one of israel 17. when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests read it with me i the lord stop 
stop when the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18 i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and i will make the wilderness a pool of water i will make it i will make the wilderness a barren life i will make the wilderness a pool of water i will make a destiny that has no business flourishing a pool of water and the dry land springs of water two more verses 19 i will plant in the wilderness the cedar the shatter tree the mitel, the oil tree i will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord Bagwara song. Sing it just one time. On Lord Bagwara, we started things around. On Lord Bagwara, we started things around. understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access god says when did i start needing a runway when did i start needing ladder to come to the earth when did i start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me i am creator when god speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth, when his voice comes, echoed by the voice of the prophet, the Bible says, bone came out. Listen carefully. If you don't believe what I'm teaching, you are wasting your time here tonight. Take your eyes away from the mountains and say, Lord, you are going to recreate my life. There are things you will have to turn tonight around for me, like the streams of the Negev. When you read further, it says that those that, 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 that sow in tears will reap in joy. He didn't just say those that sow money. You can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray. Turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev. In the last few months, I have been so passionate about 
calling forth the creative power of God to assist men. I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men. No matter who you are, if God does not assist you, start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence. He said some trust in horses and some chariots, but we, there, is, there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God. I trust God tonight to change our lives. I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle. Scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives. We have come from far and near. Many of us made tremendous sacrifices. The question is, do you believe that this God that we serve, that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family, to visit a man, that God looks at you and says, I have decided to come to you. I've decided to hold your hand. I've decided to lift you. I've decided to give you a testimony. God comes to a beloved sister and says, my daughter, they have laughed at you. Now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah. I have come to uphold you. I have come to wipe your tears. I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone. You are called of God, but it's as if you are not called. No anointing, no results, no testimony. No one placing a demand on your grace. But something happens to you. God says, I'm coming to assist you. Hold my hands. God assists us by asking us to give him our hands. Do you know why? Because until your hand is holding him, he cannot move. You see, let me tell you this. Your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move. When your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way, you don't qualify for his help. When he wants to help you, he says, place your hand upon my hand. And you are now going to use your faith from hence, not your hand. Let me be the one using my hand to clear the way. Let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness. Let me be the one to make Pharaoh give you gold. I can give you gold by creating, but let's make a caricature out of Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you are the one who will give that gold. There is a name God is called, the Father of Spirits. Understand the revelation behind that name. Every human being is a spirit, he resides in a body. But God is the Father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirits that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he is the Father of Spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass any and every I spoke to a man this morning before leaving um, very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl, the daughter was there, the man was there standing, and I said, this is the signature of Satan. When Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it and said, let me put my own and see who, what devil will come to take it out of you. I prayed for that man with all my heart. I prayed for him passionately. In that state of poverty and penury, the children and the man, they put together a seed. I, I, I said, can I ever accept this? I, I collected the seed. I prayed with all my heart. And then I said, look, I, I place favor. May your seed become a tray. Let me put something upon it for you. It's called the favor of God. Go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around. That's the works of darkness. 
some of us are seated here right now our loved ones are in such kind of chaos Satan when Satan does a thing you don't need to ask who did it he does it so clear that men will know it's his finger please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God the works of darkness is darkness the works of God is light that's why we're here to disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives is God speaking to us tonight the captivity of Zion the captivity in your family the captivity in your life what is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level you see it but to touch it it looks like there is a resistance there is a limitation we are going to pray are you ready to pray tonight and then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit oh God turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked lift your voice and cry believe me brothers and sisters when you pray God hears you Turn again the captivity. Man Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. Mention what must live your life tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of. I said interview seven graduates no one called for interview and the gentleman according to what he sent me he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream I came and I prophesied it was like a koinonia service I laid hands on him and I mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now I don't know whether or not they have given him the job I don't know that part but that's God at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you. This God, ba, let me tell you, when God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher, higher than our ways. His thoughts, higher than our thoughts. When, when you see, it's an act of faith to let God choose how to surprise you. Yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith. 
and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking God for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you Lord one cup of tea and I'm grateful and God says no if I give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things I want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one God can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what I'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like God is too slow God can act mysteriously fast I was watching a documentary I like watching documentaries um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and I said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your God is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth God we are talking God here Number one, God can act fast so that you don't limit God and say, Lord, I know you will act, but um, no problem. No. Number two, listen very carefully. God can surpass your wildest imagination. Now, it's difficult to understand, but you must believe it. God can surpass your wildest imagination. He can. He can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that god decides to give you and then number three satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will god do this promise how is god going to do this if god does it this way there's already a blockage here if god follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if god uses this method my uncle already hates me and god says you only gave me three methods i have methods as infinite as my names i can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins. I can use a donkey to speak to you. I can use a bird to bring you bread. It doesn't always have to be men. It just has to be material bodies. I can use anything. Are we together? So tonight as we pray, why are we here? You have to understand. Number one, we are here. We are here to clear the way. The forces, remember... There will always be forces that contend against the word of God. We are here to challenge them. Because most times those forces stand our way. They contend with prophecy. When the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away, you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes. Number two, we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force, is his instrument for producing change. He creates by his anointing. It is his word, but that word must be anointed. Are we together now? The word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody, could not bless anybody. The word just roamed around the streets of Nazareth. But when the word became anointed, it became Christos, the anointed. So the word of God is coming to your life 
I want you to be very sensitive, whether it is the prophetic word, whether it's an instruction to pray, whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say, it's all right. How can it be all right? If it's all right, who invited them to your life? Good things are about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door, recycles your pain again. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah. Father, you are 
Let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains over flow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. 
every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destiny hallelujah hallelujah yeah. hallelujah glory to the father you are seated on the throne Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment. On the forces fighting your advancement I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the Lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring that lady that lady going back
I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you're a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father. You must keep that on the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes, be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please Restoration, Kado Soda Patta. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure. But went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house you may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever 
whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca I'm hearing a name Rebecca Rebecca You are seated on the throne Stand up You are Rebecca That's the person I'm talking about Come Stand up You are seated on the throne Madam Where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja? Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia. The place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you. An end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her. Just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. 
she speaks Yoruba. Who is Ajimin? Can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it in her ear, it doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke, the yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudos. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Any kind of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start bringing long. It's not there is something. There's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands shout Jesus look at this so you just think it's just love you are in love with a beautiful girl it's not just love out now go in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions, let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave, the spirits of ancestry, I cost you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they're in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God 
to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people in worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick there is an anointing I say it again the anointing to bring healing to transport the power of God from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah hallelujah mama come please please help her she's not running by herself it's under the anointing mama i see a new dimension of healing coming on you a new time just hold her a new dimension of healing in the name of jesus christ ah this mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised there is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness for barrenness i'm praying help that lady please in the name of jesus receive that anointing mama in the name of jesus christ the grace the grace in the name of jesus christ Jada soto sikato si alaka hambaris. Leketo sada pratuski adabaladush. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. Marako supriata kosi alakatush. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as I'm seeing people laughing. That's that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing, very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something, that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. so my dear when i'm praying for favor please you stand to receive it eh? but i bless your child in jesus name hallelujah there's someone your family member has been missing this is more than one year who is that person because the person who is missing is still alive let if she's the one who is missing don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka, Shaka. Their loved ones are just find out once there don't please if, if you are not related to the people don't please don't come here we're going to pray generally if you if you do it like that there will be chaos how about you 
Your in-law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From Enugu State. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing? Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, sir. Missing? Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes, sir. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, ch your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one is one. Yeah. He's, he's the only one. What the happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, Port Harcourt, that is arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Only son. One, one, girl, one. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit, because the devil sat down and saw that this boy is, will bring joy to the mother, and then the devil decided to. It, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU. He left the school and go away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they yeah, were smoking he, Igbo. He, Police he came and drugs. packed them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama. Let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, Kodin, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about your situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom's younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, we've not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, from okay. Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in peace.
pain go to their graves in pain we challenge that force now in the name of Jesus Christ it's an error to sow and someone reap in the name of Jesus every true mother that has labored to sow may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus and when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells. In some of these places, you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they be reconnected back to you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting there. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives right now i stretch my hands that's why it's important to let the holy ghost interpret things i know that many of you may not believe what i'm praying but you just allow me pray every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife i set fire on this ring i see in the spirit be free from them now let this be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen 
just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me i'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from benway benway state look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while i was looking i just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will I stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh God so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity discernment is a priceless spiritual gift sensitivity it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost not wishing praying in the Holy Ghost you activate your organs you have to pray for a long time in the spirit for your spirit to be heightened to be able to perceive spiritual things otherwise you will get into all kinds of error wrong perception that you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear you must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate i just showed you the thing of ring now some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were you see it was something else but it's a ring this lady has bad luck in her life very bad luck i have to pray for you she just came quietly standing this i would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if god is not in the place in the name of jesus i'm seeing you cough i'm seeing her cough that's what i'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough i don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of jesus christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream someone came to her gave her something and she swallowed in the dream if you ever say you like this girl everything in your life goes down immediately i'm not saying she's a bad girl please don't get me wrong i'm teaching her something here she's not a bad girl but this is the operation in her life there are people do you know why we minister to people like that this is what sometimes prophets see that if they don't get discernment they go around saying someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch 
he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with our life you can come now and hold our hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves God but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid will pray for the sick shortly will be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that we can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great.
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. And I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf. And I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. 
some of you before this month is over you will return with strange testimonies it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of jesus and so shall it be in the name of jesus christ put your hands together for jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. In the name of Jesus. For those in need of restoration, I prophesy receive restoration. For those in need of an urgent miracle, a miracle that has to happen on time, Otherwise, it will cost you. I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. Let it happen to you. Even within 24 hours, let there be that. Miracle. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. where you have been despised I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is i stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names i bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting god for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting god is directly in the area of finances i agree with you and i release my faith May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work, the grace for performance, I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, 
may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of jesus christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my god show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of jesus christ every area where you are trusting god to give you divine direction in the name of jesus every spiritual mechanism that god can use to communicate to you i declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness i pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both i prophesy to you in the name of jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you i pray that god will put it in their hearts to help you i speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book, not willingly, but by reason of the operation of spirit. The only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia. Right now, fall in love with this Bible. Fall in love with the word of God an appetite for the word of God I release upon you. Every kind of spiritual laziness. You say I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and 5 minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I cast that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. We declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing, please. You need Jesus desperately, desperately. You're saying, man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I... I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him. Second category of people. Man of God, I love Jesus with all my heart. But I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they are coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. 3, 
Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever i belong to jesus i declare that i'm a child of god the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them i pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert, all of you. There will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bashkana kata branda kete koto, kete branda kata bakoto skoto prekete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.